You ain't gonna find 30 of horses and leaves in all of New Austin. I'm gonna have to excuse myself. I'd steer clear of Pleasant. Come! Give up. Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo? It was the marshal who hired me, Lee Johnson. Do you know him? You ain't very talkative, are you? Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me, there's things you're better off not knowing. like no blackboarder, fella. That's because I ain't. If I'm being honest, I don't care much for those high pollutant big city types. Not much at all. Blackwater ain't much of a city. More of a town with delusions, but no, me neither. He was out in Blackwater a few months back and saw one of them newfangled carriages without horses. Is that so? And you wind him up like a clock. Damnedest thing he ever saw without the aid of liquor, he told me. Times are changing fast. That's for sure. So who's this friend you're looking for? Nobody you need to concern yourself with. Never you mind all my questions, Mr. Marston. I just reckon you might be barking at it, not heading for the fort. We'll see when we get there. Well, I sure as hell ain't sticking around. Fort Mercer ain't no place for an old man like me to be a dawdling around. Gee up. I can see you got some thinking to do, Mr. Marston. So I'll keep quiet. Yeah, yeah. Damn coyotes. What a waste of good meat. Not far now, Mr. Marston. The fort's just over this hill. Listen, mister, this here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang... time I started paying back that $15. Well, no time to waste. The horses are saddled up over here.
There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws, such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. I picked out a fine horse for you. Come on, then. I'll show you around the property. is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now, where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished, bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. over there. Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. And here we are, back at the house. Let's stop for a while before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland.